Over the last 10 years, digital photography and videography have become very complicated, whether it's camera bodies, lenses, or even accessories. So we don't really want to add any more complexity to our digital lives. So anything I buy these days, I try to find a simple solution because sometimes less means more. Hi, it's Jimmy Chang here from Red35. One of the things I want to talk about today is monopods. Yes, if you follow this channel, you may have noticed that I've done a fair few in the past. And most of the recent ones I've done, including the eye footage and also band rolls, are very cool. However, they're also very expensive, big, heavy, and also complicated. So 3 legged thing has designed something to address my concern with those very complicated, heavy and expensive monopods. This Alena is simply awesome. Awesome in a way that it hasn't got much features, it hasn't got the same height that could be you know, used by a giant NBA basketball player, but something normal, something just simple that you can use as a walking stick. Not that you have to strain your arm muscles and things like that. It's a very lightweight and you can see it's very compact when it's folded down. Simple monopod that you can use with a camera or a lens. Three Legged Things expertise in tripod design and manufacturing really shows here. These things may look very simple, but it actually has quite a few little touches that really makes me happy as a photographer and filmmaker. Well, I mentioned about walking set and literally you can use these things at a simple walking stick. The grip is very, very comfortable and thick, very rubberized, so you can use it in wet situations as well. And also, it has a removable feet. Yes, the one that's included is this little rubber ball here that you can use on any kind of rocky surfaces and things like that. But if you're in the water in a stream, if you want something that you know just poke through and doesn't move around or slide around, they also have spikes that you can purchase or different type of feet that you can purchase, just like the, uh, the tripod series. And this is pretty awesome. Another thing that I really enjoy uh, is that you can buy as a kit that includes a little kind of uh, a tripod base as well, just like some of those video uh, monopods that I've reviewed before and their feet is just as good as others but also critically lighter and simpler. So this is Alenas at its maximum height at 1.58 meter and I'm 173 so it is perfect for me. If you're taller you may want to consider the Lance version which is another taller version of this uh, Alena here that goes up to 2 meter so yeah that's plenty high for majority of photography creators out there. They also make an aluminium version of Alena called Taylor, uh, which has the same height as this. It goes up to 1.58 meter. And unfortunately, they don't make a taller version just like the Elan. So they don't have a two uh, meter aluminium version. So if you want it tall, yeah, unfortunately, you have to get a carbon version. Um, uh, but anyway, let's talk a little bit about Palo because, you know, it may shock you a little bit. Yes, it shocked me, first of all, when I saw the spec sheet, when uh, Three Legger Things sent it to me. All three versions, aluminium and the two carbon versions, they all have the same payload of 60 kilogram. And let me repeat it again, six zero kilogram, 60. No matter how I rig my Michael Forthwick gear up, no matter what sort of lenses, combination, put a monitor, put a light and everything, all attached to it, it won't come to that sort of level. 60 kilograms is a person. It's a person. So this guy here can hold a person's weight. And that's nuts. That is total nuts. And if I tell you the weight to rate ratio, <laughs> this guy, especially the Elena, weights in only 650 gram. 650 gram, got 60 kilogram payload. But the, the, uh, yeah, I don't know how to construct that, but apparently, you know, they made it work and that's the specific official uh, acclaim. And obviously I don't have anything to kind of uh, uh, justify it because I don't have anything heavy, like 60 kilogram kit setup that I can put on top of it to test the payload. But I'll take their word for it because their uh, uh, tripods are also renowned for the payloads. And, you know, I'm using the Billy 2 filming right now. And this is one of my favorite tripods. But anyway, 
Let's go back to this guy here. And yeah, 650 gram is the monopod itself. And if you want to add the optional tripod feet that I mentioned earlier, it does bump the overall total weight to just over a kilo. Still, even though it may sound a lot, it's still a very lightweight for a uh, monopod, a professional monopod system. Anything that I tested before, like the uh, YC Onion and also uh, the iFootage, they are both over 1.3, 1.4 kilo. That's 30, 40% more than the total system or three-legged thing and uh yeah i i think they have a winner here so i can see that 1.5 is a bit too tall for me because i like to be just a little bit lower and uh run about here so i can kind of lean, lean on it a little bit just add a little bit more stability and while look through through the uh, viewfinder uh yeah monopod you know has always been a professional choice was when they have big lenses and heavy lenses you know you see a lot of the football stadium players and uh, not players photographers <laughs> you know they use monopods because they got humongous lenses and heavy lenses that weighs about three four five kilos each and uh, they are really helpful tool for them to stabilize their uh, the camera you know like just holding the grip and let the uh, the monopod as a pivot and hold the entire weight of the system and uh, this is really really awesome for those type of applications so wildlife photographer would definitely appreciate appreciate this kind of setup. If you are a travel photographer, for instance, if you're a hiker, you may also want to benefit this uh, as a dual purpose, like I mentioned earlier, as a walking stick, which is actually how I use some of my earlier monopods that I had in the past. And uh, those simpler ones that I had, uh, I used them as a yeah, walking stick, as well as a, a, a kind of like a little bit of stability uh, uh, when I get to the uh, peak or summit of the mountain. You know why? Because when you get up there, your legs will be wobbling. <laughs> so I'm not exactly stable in any cases so having a monopod that kind of help me stabilize my uh, my my lens is actually very helpful especially when uh, when the time gets a little bit darker when you have to slow down the shutter speed a little bit and uh yeah that that will be the really really cool uh applications that i always remember when i was younger these days of course i don't have the physique to do that sort of hike anymore but you know having a walking stick might benefit me when i get a little bit older <laughs> so what's my verdict on alena three leg things carbon monopod i like it i love it and if you ask me whether i would recommend you to buy it and yes if you want to have a monopod in your arsenal of equipment to support whatever equipment you want to put on it this is actually pretty pretty good well let me just show you a comparison quick comparison this particular setup here i mean i don't have the tripod base mounted you can see that it's no tripod mount at the moment uh, but i have the em uh, not the em one the om one with the 40 to 150 2.8 pro lens mounted on top of the monopod itself um the the weight of this when i'm holding it like this now <laughs> this is quite funny because it's just about the same weight as why is the onions monopod with the feet on see the see the weight difference this is really light because even with the equipment on top, it weights about the same as YC Onion Monopod without anything on top of it. That is significant, you know, if you ask me. And uh, so this is something that I really, really like about uh, the Alena itself because if you really want treasure, weight, mobility, agility, this will be the solution for you. And also, it really is a simple monopod and you just don't need anything more sometimes. And simple twist lock, very easy to service and lubricate and uh yeah and it really folds down really really well and uh, into a very compact system you know just like this and uh yeah it just <laughs> it's just really really cool and also you know the tripod feet you can double up as a kind of like a tabletop tripod as well if you really want to uh because it has the same thread uh a three quarter inch thread they can mount it underneath the camera so you can double it up if you want to uh, just attach the the tripod feet to use it as a mini support for you know some kind of time lapses if you want if you get up to the mountain if you do use the feet and uh, for video you know what it's for anyway you know it's kind of cool to have the stable footage uh, stable pivot point so you can kind of do some rotational sliding kind of actions there yeah it's, it's a very versatile system if you ask me and um, the, the price is very very reasonable and um, i just don't think that 
uh, you know, you can kind of beat that for the versatility and the quality from this particular monopod. So well done, three-legged things. I think you have done a winner here. And uh, I just hope that more people will appreciate uh, more equipments, uh, more uh, kind of like niche equipments like this, because people may have forgotten some of these uh, tripods and monopods over the last few years, simply because IB has become kind of like a mainstream thing. However, you know, if you're a proper photographer and videographer, the importance of tripods and monopods because, you know, they are still around, using by pros for good reasons. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this particular overview and yeah, you know what to do now. Thumb if you like this video and sub if you want to stay in touch with all things photography, filmmaking, and of course, Michael Four Thirds. <laughs> Peace.